For nurses in the neonatal intensive care unit, tending to the smallest patients is more than just a job. It's a passion. Tonight, we share a special story of love and loss that began at St. John's Children's Hospital in Springfield. Meet two women brought together by a little baby born more than three decades ago. Lori Lemmy has walked these hospital hallways for decades as a NICU nurse. This is his diaper pen and I wear it every day at work. It's a simple reminder of a special baby and the special connection she holds with his family. Every July 15th, I know it's his birthday and I know how old he was gonna be and I wonder on that day what he would be like today. Linda Witherby first entered Nurse Lori's life in 1985 when her son Zach was born three months premature. He was always doing something, cooing or smiling at you, and you just knew that when you walked in the room and he would smile, it just lit up the whole NICU, I think. Lori became Zach's primary care nurse during his extended stay. His chubby cheeks and smile were infectious. He was loved by so many, not just me, but he brought a lot of joy to a lot of people. Because Linda lived out of town, she trusted Nurse Lori like a second parent to her baby boy. It helped to know that there was somebody up there that cared just as much as we did and who was there to take care of him when we couldn't. But after 13 months of setbacks, little Zach's heart gave out. We got the call that said that he probably wasn't going to make it, so we rushed up there and we didn't get there in time. Nurse Lori rocked baby Zach just like she did every other night and sang to him as he passed away in her arms. I whispered in his ear that I would always love him, always remember him, and would try to be a better nurse because of him. Lori and Linda lost touch over the years, but a donated rocking chair served as a constant reminder of Zach's presence in the NICU. Linda went on to have more children and two years ago, her first grandchild was born at the very same hospital. They knew that they had donated the rocking chair a long time ago, and they asked about uh, the rocking chair and the nurse that wore the, his pin. That nurse who wore Zach's pin was still there. I felt as if she's part of my family. She needed to be there to see that happy time. We went through the sad, now here's the happy. After reuniting two years ago, Lori and Linda exchanged hugs and memories this week for only the second time in three decades. I don't know what I would have done if I didn't have someone like Lori that worked there and take, dedicates her life to taking care of these children because without people like her, where would these babies be? Two lives intertwined because of a young boy gone too soon. That's so cute. And even as the years pass, that single diaper pin serves as a daily remembrance of the baby Nurse Lori loved like one of her own. I think of him every day when I pin this on my shirt every day. Um, he's on my Christmas tree every year. <laughs> And it's made me realize how precious um, his life was, um, that it did have meaning, although it was short. You know, we just strive every day to, to be better. Linda and Nurse Lori think of little Zach every single day, but both say it's no longer sad. These days, their memories are those of smiles and happy moments during his 13 months of life.